Hello, everyone. Hello. Hey, everyone. Is this where we were supposed to talk and say something? <laughs> What? We're yeah. supposed to talk? Is this where we just start? Is this where we're supposed to start? Is this where we're supposed to kind of talk and just start? Do you see, do you, like, is this where we're supposed to actually just, is this, I mean, is this where, is this, is this where we're I supposed to start? Have to start? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think, I like, think you've got it right, Audrey. I think you've got yeah, it right. Okay, I think, so I think is, we should probably ask is, for a suggestion. So we're going to do some narrative intro oh, today. Right. Normally the suge suggestion we ask for is a sentence from a book. So any book. Um, I don't know if we've got any way of actually receiving these uh, on this I, platform. I have I have one for you. I just pulled up my Kindle oh. app and pulled one. So uh, this is from Jeff Tweedy's book, How to Write One Song, and it's two sentences, two quick sentences. Okay. But I'm getting, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We're still talking about you. Yes, we were going to give you time to like look for look for a quote, and then we would talk about ourselves and tell you <laughs> intimate details. Do you want to start? Excuse. Um, <laughs> I was making pasta two minutes ago. That's me. <laughs> I'm Vera. I'm based in London, England. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm part of my auntie says. Yeah, I'm Krista. I am based in London, the UK, but I'm from Helsinki, Finland. I just came back from a wedding, so that's exciting. Not my wedding, though. Very happy to be here. <laughs> this is her honeymoon. <laughs> you know, that's how I would choose to spend it. Hi, everyone. I'm Athira from India. Um, I had pasta today. I hope, Vera, you have better pasta than I had. Mine was very sad. Oh no, sad pasta. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Audrey. Oh, Stephen, uh, I'm uh, gluten-free, just wanted to jump in there. Uh, so I did not have any pasta today. Uh, I am Canadian of origin, living at the moment close to mountains, but I'm not going to say which ones. Mysterious <laughs> Canadian, I love it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stephen. I'm in the UK, from the UK. No pasta today, because who eats pasta on a Sunday? Well, clearly some people do, but you know, that, that's not me. Great. Um, so is this, this now this is the part where we, like, we get the those where we start two so, sentences. So, because we got this, we got this one, we got the sentences, right? So this is the part where we start the show, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is, like, this is the part we, we switch off and we come back using right. what they've told right. us right. as a okay. place to start, right. yeah. Okay, so, so just, we, for clarity, say what the sentences are so that our audience know. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We're still talking about you. That's the second sentence. The first sentence is, the sun shone having no alternative. <laughs> okay, so the sun shone having no alternative and, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We're still talking about you or my auntie says, and here's some long form improv. I mean, I, I, I guess I was a bit too nervous to begin with. Mm. I mean, um, you were very nervous. But, but I mean, I think, I, I think I'm getting better at calming myself down, you know? Um, my torch doesn't work, Jenny. But like, sometimes it's just a bit hard, Lisa, you know, because I have quite a lot of thoughts and feelings and like, I'm not really sure what to do with all of them, you know? Wait, wait, sorry, you've got thoughts and feelings. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So like, for example, I'm like going on a date or something and I'm really nervous and I'm just not really sure like what to do. Sorry, so wait, your, your torch is not working? My torch is not working and you're nervous a lot is what I'm getting. And we're best friends and I didn't know this about you. I guess like just being here in the woods, kind of camping, it's like really bringing all this new energy out of me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, wait, so wait, you've been going on dates? Yeah, 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 but just like a little bit, just like maybe like uh, like three or maybe five different guys. Um, it's, it's all good, it's all good. It's, you know, to, to get over the breakup. 
you broke up with Joe? Wait, oh, yeah. okay. Um, <laughs> uh, right, no, stop. The tor- Do you have a torch that works? Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. I think so. Wait, just let me just... So we're stuck in the middle of the woods and we've lost the group and you're telling me all these things about yourself. Oh my God, thank you so much. Okay, okay so, the, um, um, okay. You broke up with Joe. Yes. My yes. brother in law. Yes, your brother in law. Um, so he, I guess he didn't tell you. No, he, he seems so happy. I mean, I saw him last week. You know, I said goodbye before I, I, I came on this trip with you. Yeah, I think he is pretty happy, to be honest. How do you feel about it? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I feel good. I mean, I've got a lot of this like nervous energy since it happened. But um, I think that's good. It's, I think it's, it's kind of productive, you know, and that's why, you know, we came here camping, like I haven't been camping in like several years or whatever. And like, yeah, it's good. It's great. I feel your nervousness and my nervous. I mean, wait, you're, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm feeling nervous now. You're being very unfeeling. Like my brother-in-law, Joe, you broke it with him. I mean, I I think I'm having a panic attack. Wait, Lisa, Lisa, no, 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 you t- you don't need to have a panic attack. This is my problem. Um. <laughs> okay. I know you don't like change, but sometimes sometimes change is good, you know. Oh my God! What was that sound? There are bears. Um, are there bears? I don't know. Um, maybe we should uh, try to go back the same way we came I think I think this is not the way to the to the water place (laughs) okay oh my god which way did we come from I I I mean apart from not knowing very much about you and your exploits best friend um (laughs) I mean I've got to stick with you because I'm not going to walk around the wood by myself wait 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 you are still my best friend Lisa I mean I've had a lot going on like I haven't had so much time to catch you up on everything but that doesn't okay. mean we're not best friends okay we're terrible best friends but right we'll stick together but i'm i am not pleased with you i think this trip will be good for us we've already lost everyone else my torch doesn't work yours is well it's just about right there's funny noises in the woods i'm having a panic attack you're nearly single what is that to- What's good? What's good that's happening right now? <laughs> oh. uh, Who's that? I don't think it I don't think it was anything. I think I think let's just let's just let's just let's just keep moving. I think we'll be fine. And and what's good is that we've got each other, okay? I know it's not perfect, but that's all we got. Okay, well okay? Uh, uh, fine, fine. I know I'm the most existential fairy in the forest, but do you ever wonder if the sun is always happy? You you just blow my mind, you know, with your questions. I mean, okay, let's sort this out off the top. You are the most existential fairy in the forest. There is no there's no competition. You know, other fairies just flit around, but you, you sit and think. And that's quite challenging for me as a humble woodsman. Why? I never know whether your questions are rhetorical or whether you're expecting me to say something smart in response. Peter, I'm devastated. I'm just absolutely gutted and devastated that I would cause you any stress with my queries. It's not really stress, but it is uncertainty. Yeah, because... Oh, oh, 
Oh, well, uh, uncertainty, Peter. Uncertainty is part of the existential experience. I can assure you, uncertainty is perfectly normal. And I'm here to support you with with whatever you need. And I will endeavor my very hardest to ask my questions in a more approachable and, and gentle manner. I think, Katie, just, just ask your, your questions. And I, I think the important thing for me is just to try, not to try so hard to impress you, you know? Because, well, there I've said it. I don't, I do not believe anyone's ever wanted to impress me before. Stephen, I want you to know that you are my very best friend and my closest confidant. Wow, closest confidant. Do you think that existential fairies are embraced by their peers in the forest? You're, you're saying you're not. No, you're the only one I can talk to. Wow. And you, I mean, that when I see the fairies, they're usually flitting around together. You look as though you're one big fairy community, but it sounds like you're not. I mean, every community has its people that don't, were, that don't fit, I suppose. I mean, is that in the human community? Are there people that just don't fit very well? How many woodsmen do you find in your average forest? One. Mm. So, really, I, I know about not fitting. I know about being alone and I've got used to it. Do you feel alone when you're with me? Not at all. Well, I think this is good news. I think it's very good news. Oh, 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 uh, the clown. You got the clown? Yep, I sure did. Oh. Uh... What oh, you gonna do, do about it, Stanley? Oh God, oh God. Every single time I... I have nothing else to give you. Like, I know that I owe you my house, my vehicle. The only thing I, le I have left on me is my invisibility cloak. What? You've been saying the best for the last. I love it. Give it here. I can't, I can't give it to you because my grandfather gave me this. Grandfather Dojo? Yes. Grandfather Dojo. This is the family heirloom. That, that is the only thing I've left of him. Well, Wrong. Stanley, you shouldn't be playing cards. Say, say we have a rematch with with something else, anything else. Huh. Double or nothing, hey. Double or nothing. Yes, double or nothing, yes. <sighs> wow, Stan. Grandfather Jojo and all your dead relatives would be so unproud of you. Don't say that. Right, let's go. Yep, another drink. Thank you very much. So if you win, mm -hmm. you get my head and the invisibility cloak. Yep. And your car. Right? Wait, wait. If I win, yeah. Then, well, you gotta keep your head and your car and your house and the invisibility cloak and you get my uh you get my farm 
I get your farm. Yeah. I get I get Ron's farm. Yeah. Farmland, the magical farm. I'm in. I'm in. All right. All right. Bless me, your oh ancestors. Bless me. Everyone, witness this game. I'm going to get me an invisibility cloak. And if I win, I'm going to get everything back and Ron's magical farm. On the ground, on the ground, on the ground. All right. Bless me, bless me. Bless me, oh God. Bless me. All right, all right. All right. All right. right. Pick a card. <sighs> here I go, here I go, here I go, here I go. And I'm keeping it on the table. I'm not looking at it. I'm keeping it on the table. I've kept it on the table. All right. All right. <sighs> you ready? Yes. Yes, turn it over. Oh. Oh. Drinks are on me. So <laughs> little, little Stan. Yeah. Henceforth, this cloak and my head is yours. Ron. You can keep your head. I'll take the cloak. Thank you very much. Right. But one day, I'll come back for you, Ron. One day, I'll come back for you. See you later. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, hi. Hi. Um, H hello. Um, ha ha, hello. Hello. Uh, you, you may have noticed I'm a fairy. Yep. Um, yeah, that looks that looks pretty evident with the with the wings and yes, and all. <laughs> um, sorry, this is very. Um, you know, normally we don't interface with. Human. I mean, I have a friend who's a woodsman. I mean, that's kind of why I'm here because I have a friend who's a woodsman and I can't talk to him about this and he's the only human I know. And I can't talk to my fairy community about this. So I just thought you're here whittling a squirrel out of wood. So you must have some inclination to nature. And I thought maybe I could talk to you. Well, I mean, since, uh, since my breakup from Joe, I've kind of been trying to Try, try new things so I, I didn't used to to build stuff with my hands but it's kind of a new thing but yeah so yeah I yeah nature yeah um, so fairy is cool why not yeah <laughs> so you were in a relationship with a man named Joe yeah uh yeah well we don't really have to talk about that but yeah. I'm sorry I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I'm just thinking I'm just thinking about myself I'm not thinking about you or your feelings and how you might be feeling because you were in a relationship that ended and I'm just I'm I'm sorry I'm a horrible fairy I'm sorry okay no wait let's just start over can I just let no okay just want just yeah, okay um hello excuse me excuse me hi no that's not a good way to start I'm sorry no wait hold on hold on hold on what is, what is your name um I'm Jenny. Jenny. Jenny, I'm Katie. You're Katie and, and you're a fairy. Yes. Cool. Cool. Um, okay, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I I actually renamed myself because I wanted to have a human name. So not most fairies have very different names, but I'm Katie. Hi, I'm Lisa. <laughs> Jenny, is this a fairy? Uh yeah. Uh, yeah, apparently it's a fairy. I mean, I've I've heard that there's fairies in the in the forest. So, it's fairy. Uh, fairy. Are you are are you really here? Are we hallucinating? Is this my panic attack? Um. Uh. 
Lisa. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Sorry, this is my first experience of um, a human doubting my existence or feeling I'm a hallucination. I don't really quite know how to react. I don't really quite know um, how I to. Think, I think it's fine. I would, I would worry about you it too when I'm quite destabilized by this. Uh, I don't know, Jenny. Can you? Uh, I, I think I think I kind of get you. I think I can see this kind of energy in you, and like I know exactly how you feel. Like it can be really difficult to be in like a new situation, but like this oh is cool, right? No, it's not. I think I'm seeing things. I'm stuck in the woods with you. You're you've started whistling. Another thing I don't know about you, best friend, and um, and there's this fairy, okay, who, who may or may not be real, talking to us. Lisa, I'm gonna stop you right there. Okay. And and I'm sorry because I'm slightly ups- I'm slightly angry and. I'm not accustomed to this emotion, but I'm going to, I'm going to assert myself in this emotion and this emotion of anger, because I think it's important. And I'm not angry at you, Lisa. I'm not angry at you, but it's not right. It's just not right. What's been done to humanity that you don't see the magic around you, Lisa. Do you see what I'm saying? That you see a fairy and you don't believe it you think it's a hallucination i know i'm real i will shake your hand i will shake your hand i will fly around your head if that's what you want if that's what will convince you that i am real but what i'm saying is i think that uh, i just in this moment have real and i do want to talk about relationships but i have realized in this moment that i am going to I'm going to just introduce myself to all of humanity because it's time to put an end to this dualistic nonsense, to this Cartesian claptrap. No, no, no. Now we reintegrate the world that we cannot see to the world that we can. But that doesn't help me work out if you're real. I mean, like, sorry, philosophically. Well, there's no need to be philosophical about this because I'm physically, tangibly present and real, and I'm just going to tickle your head. (laughs) You know what? I really like you. I think you kind of got something figured out. I mean, you just come in here and like say what you want and what you do, and I think that's really impressive. I think we should stick together. (laughs) Jenny, will you be my friend? Totally. Cool. Stanley. Yeah. Is that you? What, you're hiding. Yeah. It's 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 me. It's me. Oh, Woodsman Uncle. Peter. Oh. Yeah. Uncle. yeah. Sorry, Yanko. Yeah. And um, it's good to see you. I've been having a lovely time here with the fairies, you know, it's been really, I've been enough about me. Tell, tell me what's been wait, going wait. on with you. Wait, you said yes? you had contact with the fairies, like the grand well, wishes, the fairies? Well, so, I've never asked. You never asked them about granding wishes? Wow. Well, they, they don't stay still for long. Oh. oh and okay. the only one I have any really major conversations with is has a rather philosophical sort of existentialist approach that I don't granting wishes might be a little bit mainstream mm-hmm. for her do you, you know the sort of thing I mean yeah she is a philosophical yeah angel. yeah and, and oh. I've been really keen to impress her as well and I wouldn't want to say how about a few wishes you know it, but we could could you do with a wish or two Actually, I think you should. Yeah. If you want to impress, you know, I've heard if you want to impress or you, if you want to have a good bond with somebody, you should not be offering help. You should be asking for help. It means that you trust them and okay. they, you know, yeah, I think, I think you should go for it, uncle. And when you're going for it, please take me along because I would love to uh, just see the fairy. You say you'd like to see the fairies, but I'm hearing more there. You've been gambling again? Yes, Uncle Peter. And what did you lose this time? 
well, you already know about the house and the car. I've lost our grandfather, Dojo's invisibility cloak. The invisibility cloak? Oh my God. I, I mean, the house, okay. Yeah, you can get another house. The car, get another car. Invisibility cloaks don't come along too often, you know? I know, I know, I know, I know. And I and I tried. I don't know how Ron does it. Like every time he wins. We had a rematch. You were playing cards with Ron. Yeah. Even I've heard of Ron. You have? I've heard of him, yeah. The birds in the forest talk about Ron. And what do they say? Tweet, tweet, don't play cards with Ron. Oh, yeah, I've been warned against it. And anyway, I played him and I lost and I need to get the cloak back from him, uncle. So I think okay. we should talk to your fairy. Let's back in the forest. Let's go okay. see what we can find. Okay, I'll just hide. Then you talk. You, you come behind me. Yeah. Yes, yes. So this is this is where the fairies live. Uh, I don't think it would be there would be so so many of you. Um, yeah, just keep behind the bush, Jenny. I, I don't think that um, they're quite ready to meet you yet, but I I mm. wanted to show you. Do you have a lot of friends here? Um, mm. So I think that honesty is an important foundational bedrock of any friendship. So I'm going to tell you that no, um, in truth, I don't have any friends and I don't really know why I've brought you here because if you're discovered, then I'll be even more outcast. But you you, oh, left, okay. me, you left me behind again. Are you okay. trying to lose me in the woods? Of course not. You're my best friend, Lisa. It's just, there's a lot going on. We're going to see the fairies. You have to keep up. Yeah. Enough about the fairies. The fairies don't exist. Can you see that this little fairy house? There's another little fairy house. You have to open your mind. If there's anything I've learned since my breakup, it's like new experiences, as many as you can, as quickly as you can. That's good, okay? No, I can't accept this version of reality. I can't accept oh. any of this. I'm going. Lisa? I'm going. No. Lisa, wait. Wait. Uh, I, <sighs> uh, I feel a bit bad, but like, I also really want to see more fairies. Jenny, I think that we need to go find Lisa. And we, if we can help Lisa, if we can help Lisa to believe in magic and to see fairies, then surely we can help anyone. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. But I feel that you're not quite as enthused as, because I, I heard you, new experiences, new things, and to you that means meeting the fairies. Well, it's, it's just like, Lisa's my best friend, okay? Okay. It's just like, I just feel like so much has been happening to me. I don't really know how to, how to talk to her about all of it. And I think she's really angry that, that Joe and I broke up and and it's not really my fault I mean I mean it was his decision and everything and it's also really confusing and I think I just kind of need to move on with my life a little bit you know I have a oh. lot of feelings and thoughts like it's a quite hard for me to process everything right right okay okay well the other thing that I know about friendship Jenny yeah. is that you put your friends first. And I'm not saying you, you have to put Lisa first. I'm saying I'm going to put you first. So I'm going to put my education of humanity on hold because you need my support. Is that right? Is it, did, I, did, I, did I do it right? I think I do need some support. I think okay. I've really been struggling. Oh, you can cry, you can cry. I don't really know what I'm doing with my life. And I thought everything would be better if we just came out here to the woods and 
could contemplate life or something, but I just can't think. I just can't think of anything. Can we can we do something fun? Like something different? Yes. Um, okay. So um I what, what, um, what do you like what do you like doing? Well, oh gosh. Um, I like to ask questions. I like to ask uh, questions, Jenny. I'm not, I, I'm feeling kind of inadequate as a friend because I don't know that what I find fun, you're going to find fun. To be no, no, that's, I, I mean, I, new experiences. That sounds great. Okay. Okay. Um, so earlier today, I was asking the question, um, like, is the sun always happy? Because the sun's always shining. That's interesting because I feel like yeah if someone's always shining that must mean that they're happy right and if, you, if you're not shining then you're not happy so yeah I mean that's that's what I thought but then there's yeah. the idea of artifice and we can pretend to be happy and be shining when we're really not but I think that you could tell I mean the sun is very clearly truly shining so you can pretend to be happy when we're not yeah Yeah. I'm so, it doesn't seem like you're having very much fun. Why don't I'll take you to a pond. We can jump in the water or something. Okay. It sounds good. Tag in, Lisa. Oh, hi. Are you, are you lost? Yes. Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm I like to sit in this hole every time, every day, really. You like sitting in a hole? It, it gives you a particular perspective on the forest. Yeah. But you're a grown man. Yeah. Okay. I'm lost. And, and it's nighttime and you're sitting in a hole and, and I've, I've realized I don't know my best friend. And I've lost the group that we were camping with. And, and I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> what? You think you're losing your mind? Losing my mind. I, I'm a nervous, I have a nervous disposition. And, and I think I started seeing things. I think I'm cracking under the pressure of being lost in the woods. The, the, the woods do play tricks on you. It's partly the sun shining through the branches because they move and it's, it creates lots of images. Wait a minute, how did you know my name? I heard someone calling for you earlier. I assumed it was someone you were with. You're, you're, you're Lisa, right? Yeah. Well, you know, there could be more than one person lost in the forest at any one time, but it doesn't happen often. Wait, wait, hang on. Who are you? We're talking about me. I, I'm, I'm the woodsman. Hmm. Peter? Peter the woodsman? The, yeah. You know, I've been called that so long, I've forgotten what my surname is. So it's just Peter the woodsman. Oh, okay. And Peter if people re really know me well, they say who sits in a hole most days. Peter, the woodsman who sits in a hole, um, like, okay, don't laugh at me, right? It's been a hard day, and I know you're going to think, do fairies, do fairies exist? Do fairies exist? Yeah. What, in the, in the forest? And, uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it, what, what? That's pretty standard for most foresters have their own collection of fairies, if you know where to look. How is this not common knowledge? Depends who you talk to, I suppose. Are you a figment of my imagination as well? Hold my hand. Uh, Go on, hold my hand. There it is. I know it looks, yeah. Okay, you're a bit muddy. I, I'm a bit muddy, it's true. But does that feel real to you? Yeah, but my mind could be making it up. It could be, but that's true about pretty much everything. I mean, yes, the mind is a very powerful organ. I mean, like, existentially. 
I mean, what's what's reality? What? It's just subjective experience that we assume is similar to what other people are experiencing. But that seems to work. Oh my God, Uncle Peter, can I can I come on? Can I come on, Uncle Peter? Oh hi, yeah. Oh Sally. my God, Sally. Yeah, Uncle Peter. I thought you were gonna. They are not the angels, right? That we were talking about. Not an angel, not a fairy. This is just another person who's in the forest. I'm and, sorry. A bit, and a bit confused. This this is my uh, nephew, Stanley. Angels? There are angels? She's rarely. To... Ra rarely. It's more, more your fairies. Um, you, Stanley, you don't need the angels because you just wanted a simple wish. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, Lisa, it's, um, yeah. Um, are you Stanley under the log? Yes, I am Stanley under the log. Why uh, do you ask? It's just, I've just met, I've just met, I'm sorry, I was making assumptions about you based on, on your situation. I just, I'm sorry, I'm having a very strange day and I feel like I'm losing my mind. I've just met woodsman my uncle yes D steve no john peter. no peter woodsman peter who sits in a hole not and, all the time okay i i'm gonna i'm gonna have a nap maybe this will all go away maybe stanley put some nice leaves over her while she sleeps Oh, yeah, yeah, I've got the leaves. Yes, yes. Great. I mean, it is really refreshing and everything, but I, I guess I thought that I would just kind of forget about the past if I could just come in here and like make new friends and but it's not really happening, you know? I do, yeah, I do know. It's unfortunately, if we don't really integrate the past, then it just kind of follows us around. So, Jenny, I'm I'm still learning how to. I realize I'm not a very comforting person. Um. It's I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, I'm the son. Hello. Um, another Hello. Uh, an another new new friend. <laughs> um, Hello, I, son. I, you were talking about me. Um, and um, I thought you know I might join in the conversation. Cause you you're always shining, so you're always happy. No, no. What? I, uh, uh, I, that's my job. I, I wouldn't say I was always happy or half happy most of the time. I, I, no. Um, oh, that was a bit of a conversation killer. No, in a, in, um, we're just surprised, son. We're just surprised because it's just so much a part of human and fairy philosophy and mythology, I think, to imagine the sun as this eternally happy, shining ball of fire star, you know, whatever the, the concept is. Um, yeah, um, well, you know how, so if all beings are related, um, which is what I believe in, and we're all one, it wouldn't make sense if, if I was always happy. I, d I don't understand anything anymore. I mean, <laughs> even the sun is not happy. And what hope do we have? No, no. Wait, 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 wait. Sun, I have a question for you. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you live in a dualistic universe? No. No. 
So what are you, are you telling me that beyond dualism, Mm -hmm. like depression and anxiety and uh, angst exist? I would, what? Uh, Beyond dualism? I mean, in a non- I mean, like beyond, you know, beyond the dualistic experience, which is the one of unity. You said we're all one. I, I think I, I think I have a Wait. simpler way of asking this question because I'm not okay. quite so philosophically and existentially minded. If we, even if we change the world as as we're living it now, mm-hmm. does that mean we're going to be happy or not? Oh, I I suppose that happiness isn't real. Is a what? It isn't real. Um, so, um, I'm not happy all the time and neither are you and we're Mm. all connected, right? So that's comforting. I guess. Just that happiness isn't real. As in, it's not a thing that we should strive for. It's sort of, you know, a concept, a cultural concept. But it's also a feeling. It's also a, a... Well, it depends on what you mean by feelings. Um, I don't have a physical form, so... Son? Yes? For the second time yes? ever, I'm feeling angry, and I want you to leave. Oh. oh um, because I'm, you're upsetting sure my friend I'm... Jenny. I'm... And what I've learned about friendship is that you have to protect your friends. Um, all right then, um, that, that's also, I'll leave you, I respect your wishes, um, uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's getting very, very dark now. Okay. Um, it's getting very, very dark without the sun here. I mean, I appreciate your friendship, but are we not going to get lost in the woods? Oh, ah, uh, gosh, I just, you can't be mean to other people and only nice to your friends. I have so much to learn. So, Stanley, Stanley, uh, yes, okay, we got, yeah, you got a choice, really. All right. It's, it's quite a simple choice. You can either dabble in existentialist conundrums, or you can plan how you're going to get your invisibility cloak back. I'd go for the latter if I were you, because that seems to be a bit more tangible. Yeah. So. Oh. Hmm. Have you got your wish ready? Yeah, I've got my wish ready. Yeah. Like I've, yep. Word. Yes. Verbalized. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's see if we can find a um, friendly fairy. Yeah. And I hope our grandfather will shine once I get the cloak. Wherever he is, yes. Peter? Peter? Katie? Uh, Peter? Hi. Oh, I'll get out of my Hi. hole for you. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Gosh, it's just such a relief to see you. It's been a difficult day. I, uh, well, I want to hear about what you've been doing, and I want to tell you about what I've been doing, too. Well, I found... Um, yeah. Um, I've um, been entertaining my nephew, Stanley, who's a wonderful young man. And um, here, here he is. He's got really attached to that log, um, but that's, that's, that's another story. Yeah. And so that's Stanley. And I met someone called Lisa, who seemed to be quite distressed. Yes, I think that was my fault. She saw me. She didn't believe I existed. I tried to I tried to wake her up to magic. It just didn't it didn't work. And then I tried to be friends with her friend, Jenny. And it's been really difficult every time I tried to make her feel better. I think I just made her feel worse. And I, I realized that the only person that's easy to talk to is you, Peter. And that I just. Uh, I'm so I just have to come find you. I can imagine as well if that she doubted you exist. Yes. I mean, that's tough if you're quite existential already. 
<laughs> Glad that he's I have thought of that. that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> I'm glad you're taking it that way, you know, because I thought that could be a bit of a bit of a downer, that one. No, I think it, if anything, it's just invigorated my powers, I think. That, well, yeah. that's really timely, you know, because Stanley had some, if this is okay with you, because I'm, I've never asked this before, but I know about you fairies and wishes and so on. And Stanley has a little thing that he'd really like to ask you. If that's okay? Stanley. Yes. Yeah. Is that, is yeah. that really okay? Yeah, no, Peter, I, 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 yes, I feel confused, but I'm open to hearing Stanley's request, yes. All right, um, so uh, we have a heirloom, a family heirloom in my family, which belonged to my great grandfather, Do Dojo, and I happen to lose it, and I need your help, Terry in finding it. Oh. Okay, uh, so are you asking me to find it? What it, so I mean, just to find oh. it? Oh, uh, yes, find it and give it back to me. Like, hand it over to me, yes, yes. So have you lost it or it's been stolen or? Stanley, I think you need to own up to what actually happened because Honesty really is the best policy. I lost this in a in a gamble with Ron. The everybody knows Ron. Stanley, okay. I'm gonna try and make you feel better, but I'm not sure it's gonna work. Okay. Okay. So from what I understand. When humans feel like they're not enough inside, they, they, they do things like gambling and drinking and drugs and things like that. When they could really just connect to the magic around them because it's a kind of a psychedelic experience anyway. But what I'm saying is I will help you because I see that you're doing that do you see what I mean? I know that you feel reassured because I'm going to help you, but I'm what I'm say, also saying is I want you to feel reassured vis-a-vis -vis your gambling. And I'm just going to... Peter, can you start talking so I can just... Yeah, I think, Stanley, what she's saying is that maybe, maybe the invisibility cloak isn't the answer. What? Okay. Maybe... Maybe that's just something you wrap yourself in. Maybe you need to find something within yourself that will give you a sense of worth. Then myself. Mm. I know that's a bit philosophical and you, you're affecting me, Katie, in a way that I hadn't expected, but um, is, is that really what you were trying to say? Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'll go for the latter option, Uncle. I'll just go and steal it from Ron. Yeah, I don't like being nervous. Then. Oh. It's okay, Peter. It's okay. Not everyone's ready. Not everyone's ready. Not everyone's ready for magic and love and, I mean, just self-esteem even, really. No, they just want that cloak. Lisa? Lisa, are you okay? Lisa? Jenny, I, I've really enjoyed being your friend, but I'm gonna leave you now, okay? I think, I think I learned a lot from you, Katie. Yeah. Lisa! Oh! Oh my God! Lisa! Oh my, I just woke up. Oh my God, Jenny! Lisa. I'm so sorry, Jenny. Lisa, do you hate me now? No, no, Jenny, I'm so sorry. I just, I just needed some rest. And I was so, I was so afraid of everything and getting so nervous about life without, without you, my friend. I just started questioning everything. 
I'm sorry, is this too much? No, I just, I think it's all my fault. I think I've, I think, I think I've just been having some problems and I didn't really know how to talk about it. And then I think I shut you out, Lisa, even though you really are my best friend. You're my best friend. And <laughs> you're my best friend. Oh, oh. we're just, we're so silly. I'm so silly. I'm not going to speak for you. I feel silly. And I was just afraid of, of losing you. And then I was just like lashing out and, and, you know, you don't need to date Joe. We we're friends. Our relationship is independent of any person that. But I, but I know how much you loved going for couples brunch. But I'm just not that person anymore. That's, that's fine. I, I, yeah. yes, I, our friendship can grow and stretch in the direction of us as individuals right I, I hope so I mean it's everything so it's everything is so confusing and I thought because Joe didn't want to be with me anymore then I thought I just need to move on with everything and maybe it's been a bit I think it's been a bit mad <sighs> well we have each other yeah 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 I think that's honestly I think that's all I could I could wish for oh man <laughs> see I, I I knew this trip would be good for us thank you so much for organizing it I mean, I mean it's been a bit I know it's been a bit terrible I mean <laughs> we, still have, we haven't had anything to eat in like 24 hours and I'm still not 100% sure where we are no 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 idea terrible camping trip <laughs> Um, and I think I spent the day with a fairy. I hope she's okay. She was really nice. But I think, yeah, I think I need to be here for you now, Elisa. I can share you with whatever and whoever you want to spend your time with. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, you, I mean, I just had a nap, but I'm still pretty tired. Should we just make a little shelter and Yeah. This is there like seems to be some kind of a there seems to be some kind of a hole on the on the cliffs there. Maybe we can shelter there for a bit. Great. This is like the longest night ever. Let's go shelter in that hole. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> and see.